Well, bad news for skiers. Lost Valley Ski Resort in Auburn may close for good. That's unless the current owners find a resolution to the resort's financial problems. WMTW News 8's Allie Miles explains. Thousands of folks have learned to ski here at Lost Valley. It's been open since 1961. That's 53 years. And in the 10 years that Connie King and Lincoln Hayes have owned it, they say it's just not turning a profit like it used to. From high school and college ski teams practicing on the slopes in the winter to the banquet hall for events, many in the Auburn community love Lost Valley. That's why co owner Connie King says it's devastating and frustrating that they can't afford to keep running the place. And we're just at a point, it takes a lot of money to keep a place like this going, and we have just run out of money. So now we're looking at options because closing is the last thing we want to do. When King and fellow co owner Lincoln Hayes bought Lost Valley 10 years ago, the money was better. Since then, they say Mother Nature has not been kind. In the beginning, we were okay and hanging on, but then all of a sudden the winters start getting worse and worse. I mean, last winter was a great snow, but it was so cold. That it was just, there was a challenge too. That's why the co owners have turned to the city of Auburn for help, hoping someone has an idea that can take Lost Valley from a money pit to a profit. When we asked if Auburn might consider buying the property, the city manager said never say never, but it would have to be feasible. We have a rec committee. They've taken a very strong stance recently that anything we do should at least have a pro forma that shows that it's operationally sustainable. Um, so that's something we'll have to learn as we're working with them. King says she hopes someone will come in and buy the place. Until then, she's open to ideas. We're reaching out to the community for any ideas, any help, anything that could help us out. The paintball and banquet area will stay open. Now, King says it's really the ski area that's just so expensive to maintain. She says she has big ideas for more slopes or a water park area, but just doesn't have the funds to do it. Reporting from Lost Valley, Allie Miles, WMTW News 8.